ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the APFC lightweight division, sponsored by Indiana Marines. And your referee in charge after the bell is Rob Madrigal. And now, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks, he stands six feet, one inch tall, official weight, 155.4 pounds. Coming in tonight with a record, two victories with one defeat, fighting out of Glenwood, Illinois, Luis Jericho Unzueta. And across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing black and gray. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall. Official weight, 155.2 pounds. Coming tonight with a record, one victory with no defeats. Fighting out of Des Moines, Iowa. Omar Flores. Omar Flores in the black and gray trunks, where Luis Unzuelta in the blue corner in the black spandex. Ooh, both fighters, no touch of gloves. Unzuelta taking center of the cage. A jab by Unzuelta, followed by a teeth. Like kick of his own is Omar Flores. Unzuelta looking to definitely keep his distance here, throwing the teeps, throwing the kicks, throwing the jab, not over committing on any of his strikes. Nice little teep again, but the face barely misses Omar Flores' face. Ooh. It's almost like a Dominic Cruz style of striking out of uh, Unzuelta. Yeah, I love that, switching the angles after each strike, not staying in the same spot. He's going to be very hard to hit. Another teep by, Unz by Unzuelta, followed by a leg kick. I think that's the way Omar's going to slow him down. Start with those leg kicks. Flora's doing a good job of just kind of bouncing in and out, and when he's in, inside, throwing. Overhand. Just keeping keep busy on the inside, but not staying there too long. Unzuelta, overhand right, followed by a couple kicks. Switching his lead foot. Flora seems to be countering right now. Unzuelta marching forward. Very aggressive is Unzuelta. Aggressive, but he's very clean. And I like that. Throwing, moving. Throwing, moving. Unzuelta, our old floor is moving forward right now. Degree of success in that last exchange. Unzuelta follows up with a left right punch and a teeth. Kick to the head. Unzuelta just mixing it up here, throwing a little bit of everything. Flores is counter punching Unzuelta. Luis almost lands that right hand punch. Just kind of graced Flores. Well, huge huge right hand, hand right. Huge right hand by Flores. By Flores. You know, outside of that right hand by Flores, you know, both fighters still kind of finding their groove here in this fight. High level striking, though, you can tell already. Unzvalta cutting the cage off, keeping Unzvalta against the cage. Unzvalta goes for a double leg takedown into a guillotine. Unzuelta has Flores here against the cage. Now, Flores being the shorter fighter, I don't know if it's a good job or a good idea to go over the top looking for the guillotine. Maybe do better just trying to establish the, the clinch position and work his way out. But Unzuelta just leaning all of that six foot frame on Flores right now. Take down by Unzuelta. Unzuelta get into the side control here. Let's see if he plans to advance, go knee on belly perhaps into the half guard. Short left hand, lands by Unzuelta, taking his time. 30 seconds, less than 30 seconds left in his first round. Unzuelta just, just holding position here, good head control against the cage. Taking his time, Unzuelta get it, catching his breaths. Standing up in a push up, ooh, by Flores with the Last second kick by uh, Unzuelta. How do you see that round being judged, David Evans? Man, that was it was a close when it comes to the striking. I, as a wrestler, I'm always biased. You got to get it to give it to Unzuelta by getting that takedown. I mean, that kind of solidified it for him. Here we saw that right hand by Flores, which was probably the most significant strike thrown. You know, Flores came with his own takedown attempt. However, nothing really came for it. Unzuelta was able to adjust, adapt, get his opponent against the cage and secure the takedown. I think that's going to give him the round. Unzuelta comes from our wrestling gym. Danny Gilbert, Joey Gilbert, the coaches over there. Joey Gilbert, the first four-time state champion in the state of Illinois. Josh Neer giving instructions to Omar Flores. 
That's Jose Perez. He is the current CFFC 145 pound champion. Also on Fight Pass. Talking to Luis Unzuelta, and we're going to start round two. Uh, the filling out process, I think, might be over. Though it was a filling out process, you can tell these are two high level fighters. I mean, all the, the techniques you saw throwing, the, the pace of the fight, everything was just high level. And I think it's just going to be more to come. Overhand right with the T by Unzuelta. Uh, left right punch by Unzuelta finds its mark. Straight right hand, followed by another T by Unzuelta. Left right punch and clinch by Omar. Flores doing a good job on punching on the exit there in the clinch. Left right punch again connects by Unzuelta. Another solid jab by Unzuelta. Flores is doing a pretty good job counter punching. I think he needs just to commit just a little bit more if he wants him to land. Yeah, and I just think it's hard with the distance that maybe Unzuelta has, and he's doing a great job of keeping him on the outside of his as his punches as we knew he would do coming into the fight. Flores. Oh, left right punch again by Unzuelta. Backs up Flores, overhand right, followed by a teep. Unzuelta's kind of finding his mark right now. Yeah, Flores, I think, should maybe think about adding some takedown attempts in there just to kind of mix it up and just kind of throw Unzuelta off a little bit because he's finding his rhythm very well. And Flores got the right leg of Unzuelta going for a takedown. Lands it, Flores on top against the cage into full mount is Omar Flores. Unzuelta scrambling to get to half guard. Flores solidified the half guard. Perhaps it looks like, no, he's going to go right into the full guard as Unzuelta does a good job getting him there. But lands some powerful right hands. Oh my gosh, overhand right. Finds its mark and Unzuelta, wow. Wow, I did not see that coming. That was very surprising. I don't think anyone did. I mean, it was so slick the way he threw the hand. It didn't, he didn't over-exaggerate his movement, his motion, or anything. It was just right there on the button. Man, Luis as well. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee Rob Madrigal called a stop to the contest at 1 minute 33 seconds of round number two for the winner by knockout, Omar Flores. Good stoppage by by ref by ref